disappears down the hall. Imagine what it's like if all that is rushing around there. Back out after, what, three weeks being cooped up at home doing life and watching crap weather at the window. So I'm back on Munnith D and if you watched my last video you know I got some unfinished business out here. So no clever navigation this time, I'm just going to follow the track, do a bit more exploring on the low end of the, the mountains here because we're expecting really high winds tonight. So I'm going to hide in the bottoms. Where am I going? This way. <laughs> Due to start raining about six o'clock tonight, so I'm, uh, it's about just gone three. I've got about six kilometers to walk, I think. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, yeah, it's quite windy though. But as you can see, I've got my rain jacket on. As always, it rained long enough just to put the rain jacket on and then it stopped. Mountain life, eh? Anyway, come with me. Let's see what we can find. It's the valley I came from down there. You can see the tops of the hills are in the clouds. But I'm not going to the tops of the hills, so I'm happy with that. Aye, aye. Well, so far, nothing's gone wrong. So, there's a bonus. Not my usual tricks at all, is it? Let's try and stay like that until I get back tomorrow. Got me serious hat on today. Yeah, my old guy's rules hat, my emergency hat, starting to fall apart already. It wasn't very good, was it? Now, this area is full of these shake holes. And the problem with them, or the danger is, you don't know whether what you can see there is is the bottom of the shake hole that is just slumped. Or is there a hole in the middle there, which could go down meters and meters. It could be big enough for you to fall into. So you really, really don't want to be messing with them. I mean, you could walk into the bottom of it perfectly safely, or you could put your foot on the bottom and go down a long way. Right, time to get a move on. It's a lot wetter here than it was when I was here a couple of weeks ago. So I'm in the same grid square as where I'm going now. I'm surrounded by shake holes here, let me show you. So all these dips and holes and things, there's a whole line of them. So I'm guessing there's a river underneath there. Clouds at the back are hiding probably Pika's D. Got to the river that goes down to St. Geld. As you can see, it's carved itself out quite a gully. Goes around and zigzags its way down through there. I'm going to try and stay on top of this gully because I'm pretty sure it'll get a bit tricky farther on down. But uh, I'll have to get into the gully to camp because it's really windy up here. But we'll see, we'll see how we go. Oh, you can see how powerful this river is at times, or how powerful it's been. A huge gully that it's knocked out. Oh wow, bit of sunshine. Whee. So I've still got a bit to go, not too far. Not gonna be any shortage of pitches though, is there? Hundreds and hundreds of them. So here's our river. I'm doing this valley, this gully, valley, whatever it's made. Comes around here and then disappears down the hole. Goes down in there. I see this one. Just disappearing. There is a hole in my hillside, my hillside, my hillside. 
There's a hole in my hillside. My hillside's got a hole. Look at that, just goes in there and disappears. So there you are, sink geld. Probably looks a bit more spectacular with a little bit less water so you can see it flowing underneath. At the moment it's sort of butting up against the wall, isn't it? So there we go, right, time to find a pitch. No shortage. So oh, there she is, all pitched up, looking lovely as always. You can see pretty close to the edge of the water and as always I've pitched it with the head end into the wind as usual because I like to have a bit of shelter from that thick end. If you put the small end into the wind I find you just blows your cooker around. There's hardly any wind anyway so it's fine. I had to take a bit of a bumpy pitch because if it does rain in the night, the river is going to rise, of course. So the flat pitches are too low down. Next thing, get my kit in. Time for a wonder. I walked over here a bit earlier and what I discovered actually, I thought that there was a river coming down there that went along, but actually no, it's the overflow from that when it gets really high. It comes storming around here when it's really going. You can only imagine, it comes whipping around here. And then cars all this out, look at this. And it's obviously, there's been some recently, you can see where the new stuff's fallen off. And it's all undercut here, so I won't go too close. And then there's another hole here, where it sinks into the ground. Imagine what it's like if all that is rushing around there. Unbelievable. So, let's hope it didn't rain too much. It's supposed to have started raining at six o'clock but it's well gone six now, it's more like seven, quarter past seven. So there's my pitch, sink, geld. Is it sink, it's sink? Is it geld or guild? Not sure. G-E-L-D, if there's any Welsh people, let me know. There's a river coming down there. And it's, our, it's obviously, it's carved all this out. And then the overflow, if it gets really, really high, goes around there as well. So, I don't think it's going to come up. Like, it'd have to come up about two and a half foot before I was in danger. But we'll see. Actually, there was a good pitch here. I could have put it up there, couldn't I? Never mind. Let's get out this bank. So, what we got here? Little ridge in between the river and a giant sinkholes. There's another line of them. It does look a bit vulnerable, doesn't it? Not to worry. Cool. It's not often I get to a pitch <laughs> long before it gets dark, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> but yeah, loving it, loving it. So there's pretty much a track all the way from Glyn Tawy to here, uh, just to the top of this gully over there, but I don't know, less than a kilometre up the gully. The thing to do is you've only come to the first river, don't cross it. <laughs> Because if you do, and you wander down to the gully, then you've got to cross it again to get down here. Unless you're prepared. Well, I guess if you come in the summer, there'll be a lot less water. I have seen it, where it just sort of dribbles down this far, you know, in a dry summer. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd get you out here, having promised that I'd do it last time and not delivering. Um, I'd wanted to come out, you know, while there was still a lot of water around so that you could, uh, you know, get the full impression, like, really. Got this rather impressive proper river, isn't it? And then it just disappears into the rocks. The reason this, can, this water can disappear into the hill, of course, is that this whole area has got limestone underneath it and uh, well underneath it. 
And the, the valley that I started up in earlier, the Glyn Tawy, it's the place I started from, they're, they've got the showcase there, Daniel Rogov, Daniel Rogov, yeah, Daniel Rogov Caves. Um, there's three showcases you can go in, and actually they're still working on those in terms of exploration. I think it was only uh, it was quite a while back they first got into the caves and they got stuck, there was a lake there. And I think it was in the 60s that someone finally got through past the lake. And so far they've traced about 11 kilometers of cave. And they think that there's a lot more that they haven't got to yet. Some people reckon up to about 90 kilometers. Have a look online, you'll see it's a very complex cave system. And uh, yeah, and the showcase are really worth going to see. So, anyway, it's just starting to go off cold and dark now, so I'm going to get back down to my tent and uh, yeah, put kettle on. Yeah, lights go in now. It's uh, what's the time? Blimey, it's ten past eight, so I've missed sunset by 20 minutes. Not that I was going to see it because we're like in total 100% cloud, although it's lightened up a bit. There's supposed to be heavy winds, but there obviously isn't hardly any wind in here at all, less than there was when I got here a couple of hours ago. And it's supposed to have been raining since six o'clock and it's not doing that either, so let's be grateful for small mercy, shall we? Now, what I wanted to talk about was a few days, week or so ago, I put a post on the community tab in my YouTube channel and suggested that I'm thinking of changing the channel name from The Wandering Forester to my name, Roger J. Thorne. Well, Roger Thorne is gone, so it would have to be Roger J. J for James. There's not much that's posh about me, but maybe my middle name, James. Anyway. So, consensus of opinion is that it should stay as the wandering forester, so that's what I would do. Also what came up was, why am I the wandering forester? I'm not sure if I've ever answered this in a video before. I probably have, but you know, I've had a lot of new subs since then. So, I live in the Forest of Dean. I was born and grew up in the Forest of Dean and locals in the Forest of Dean are known as foresters so I'm a forester and why wandering? Well that's what I do, isn't it? wandering around the hills. Food wise I've got some tomato soup, Heinz, much better than whatever it was I had last time. To go with that I've got a Greek style nan, Greek style flatbread left over from a meal the other day. I've got some Ben's rice. This is a, a bit weird because this is savoury chicken flavour but I'm gonna have a smoked pork sausage with it. Why not? Uh, I've got coffees of course and oxos and then porridge for breakfast and got a new pan to cook it in. Everything was going extremely. Hmm. I do like that. Ben's rice and pork sausage, lovely. I decided that I'd have some of this bread with it. Um, yeah, the battery died while I was trying to film my uh, cooking preparations. And in trying to change the battery, I've broken the door on the GoPro media mod. So the little thing that you pull up just snapped off in my fingers. Not good. Hmm. Nice. So I'll have to get the um, get some of the gaffer tape off my poo shovel, which is where I keep it, wrapped right round. Trying to, because uh, the handle is a bit sharp, so I put some gaffer tape round and round. And anyway. I'll have to gaffer tape it back together for now. 
and see what I can do when I get home. Oh well. You don't want to meet, watch me eat this, so I'll talk to you a bit later. Just having my soup. A bit of bread before I go to bed. And uh, pondering really what to do tomorrow. I could, of course, well, first off, it depends on the weather. If it's raining, all bets are off. Get back to the car. If it's not raining, if it's not blowing a gale, there's some quite interesting hills between here and uh, coming down off the mountain. Very rocky. Um, probably some good views from the top of them. So as long as I get a good night's sleep and it's not chucking it down in the morning, I think I might have a wander up those. There's one right here that I can go up. There's a name I can't pronounce, which they do out here. Uh, but yeah, for future reference, like really, have a, have a look around, see what I can find. Maybe find some more camping spots on the way. See what else we can find. Anyway, I'm going to drink my soup, eat my bread, and I'll see you in the morning. Had an interesting night and an even more interesting uh, morning so far. I'll show you why. Remember where I sat on the bank yesterday with my legs hanging over the side and I had to step down about two foot to get the water out? Well, that's changed, as you can see. And if I show you at the other side, remember I said there was this runoff stream well it's it's running off so i find that a bit scary to say the least so yeah um so i woke up i've had a quick pack up this morning i've got most of my stuff packed i thought i'll get it to the point where i might be able to get out within you know a couple of minutes it's still got a good six eight inches to go up and I think based on the fact that it's running off down over there that I don't think it's going to come up but you know let's not get too cocky it's still raining unfortunately so what happened was that overnight there must have been one hell of a storm it woke me up at uh, about half past five hammering on the tent but I think there must have been earlier ones as well I'm just stirring me porridge here so I got out I had it packed everything that I could prior to breakfast just in case and uh, yeah <laughs> Scary stuff, scary stuff. Time to get out of Dodge, I think. Any <laughs> any ideas of exploring the mountains today? Out the window. I'm just going to get my waterproofs on and get the hell out of here. Well, this has certainly changed, hasn't it? Wow. So I'm like, I don't know what, a foot from disaster. Go and see what's going on around here. So this is the uh, the runoff then. If it can't get down through the hole fast enough, it comes down here. We'll go and have a look. <laughs> so I'm going to wander around while it's not raining and have a look. Wow. And then it's disappearing down there. Let's go and have a look. And there it goes. Down into the hole. Wow. Well, okay, I was panicking this morning when I saw what was happening, but 
pretty cool to see, don't you think? Sink girl in all its glory. Lovely jubbly. Ah. Ha! This I love it. You can see where it's cut the bank out, can't you? And it's just roaring down through that hole there. <laughs> was that lucky or was it planned? We ask ourselves knowingly. I could have been on that bloody island. Wow. Power of nature, eh? So this was at least two foot lower last night. And I was walking along there and I nearly camped on that island. I'm glad I didn't. All packed up, ready to go. It's about eight o'clock. It's not raining for a while, but it's spitting again now. I think this river is actually going down now. So maybe I missed the peak, I'm not sure. Either way, as you can see, left no trace except a bit of dry ground. I'm not sure whether my camp placement was lucky or... I'm not sure it is really, because I noticed that all this grass here was all stood up. Well, all that stuff over there had obviously been flooded at some point. But uh, maybe I had a lucky escape. Maybe it was a great choice of campsite. Either way, time to go home. So I was just about to take the waterproof trousers off and it started raining again. It's not too bad at the moment, anyway. So I'm pondering whether to go for a wander or just get my backside back to the car. I think I'll wait and see how bad the rain is. But I need to get past all this bog. I mean, look at it. Yeah, I'll put the camera away for a bit and then uh, wait and see if it starts raining. Ah, oh, yay. What a miserable morning. I'm not sure what I can film to show you, really. I mean, I'm in the clag. It's raining. And... There just really isn't anything to see or we'll take pictures of. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera away, try and well, dry it, put it away, and wait until I maybe get out of the clag if it doesn't go right down to the valley, and then have a chat then. Well, at least I didn't get washed away last night, so that's something. <laughs> Well, that was a bit scary when I woke up. Anyway, I'll talk to you later when there's something I can show you. Don't think this mountain likes me, but there's still a lot, quite a lot of it to see. So I'll keep coming back. Pretty much back in civilization now. I don't know if you can see that forest behind me or woodland. The other side of that woodland is the valley. Believe it or not. Oh, it's better I can see now. So that was a very pleasant but damp <laughs> camp. So I really enjoyed myself. Last night I got there in plenty of time to have a look around. Leisurely put the tent up, all that sort of stuff, and chill before it was time to cook. So that was that was good. I enjoyed that. This morning, meh, okay. It was really good to see St. Gerald in like full spate though, wasn't it? Even though when I first looked at the tent it freaked me. <laughs> but yeah, that was great. So hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, not too much this morning, I know, but you can't have everything, can you? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>